Right, that's it, laddie. Don't pull the trigger. Squeeze it. Actually, very wise words. Just like holding the rifle butt up in your shoulder. Snug, not real tight. And of course it helps if you control your breathing just before you shoot. The gun, that is, guys. Well, I don't know whether anybody else noticed, but as MGTOW has got traction, there are people who've kind of latched onto it to get attention and use it as their vehicle, even if they don't really know what it actually really means. It's like they say they've all gone to these universities and learnt MGTOW. But MGTOW isn't like that, is it, guys? There's no one expert about MGTOW, because it's different for every man. And it seems like anything that comes onto the social media gets tainted and changed. And there's a lot of men that were MGTOW, and I was talking to them, but they've all disappeared. And it's not because they've stopped being MGTOW. They just got sick of the way the internet treats it. They're still doing MGTOW or being MGTOW, but in our own silent way, as we always have done. But on the internet and social media, it's kind of been watered down. And there's people coming on saying that they're experts at being MGTOW and this is what you should do. Man, these men don't look very old to begin with. And unfortunately, to get old means you do get wiser. Because you have a lot more experience. And if a man is really MGTOW, he doesn't tell other men what to do, does he? MGTOW to a man is something much, much deeper. It just means he's awake and aware, and he knows what the feminine nature usually is. Not always, but mostly always. But some people are so kind of weak, they want to belong to something, don't they? Even though they don't really belong there. Saying that you're a MGTOW doesn't make you a real man. That takes a multitude of things, that does. But it is a good start. You see, for me, MGTOW just means being awake and aware. And you can go out with femons if you want, as long as you're awake and aware and alert. These MGTOW monks, so to speak, why would you just cut yourself off like that? Say the chance arises and there's no danger, why shouldn't you take it? That's what living is all about, right? If you want to be a monk, then go to a monastery. Maybe they just don't trust themselves. And they just love to make names up as they go along, don't they? They have to put you under a heading or somebody under a heading. When in reality, none of us have a heading at all. We're all individuals, right? So you younger guys, be careful out there. You don't listen to the wrong people. Be aware of those people that start saying, this is what you should do. Hopefully I've just tried to make young men awake and aware. So they're not such an easy target. And what they've been told, usually by a feminine or even their mother, because a lot of it is usually just a darn outright lie, to blinker the male. And I believe there's still very many MGTOW men who are true MGTOW, just not online, or on social media anymore. And if it gets tainted or watered down enough, I won't be on either. The good thing is, once you do actually see through all the bullshit, and get some clarity. You can never really think the way you did before. And sometimes you think to yourself, how was I so stupid to believe it when it's so damn obvious it isn't true? And like I say, there was nobody around for me like MGTOW to talk with when I was a young man. I had to figure it all out myself. But MGTOW may take a hit because the generation has been brought up by mostly femons has sort of been indoctrinated into the woke society, the weak society. And is society better for it? No, it isn't, is it? It's in a terrible state. But I'm doing my bit, and I'm staying MGTOW until I die. Because once awakened, you can never ever go back to sleep. All right, laddie. There he is. It's a beautiful animal. All right, put the rifle up against your shoulder. Snuck, but not too tight. Slowly aim it, just uh, behind the front leg and the chest area. He looks about an uh, 18 pointer at Now control your breathing. He's standing beautifully still for you. Now don't yank, just squeeze the trigger gently. 
<laughs> I can't shoot, Bambi. <laughs> what are you talking about, lad? Your big girl's blouse. Does that look like Bambi to you? Well, he could have children, you know. He may have to. <laughs> it's too late. He's gone. <laughs> well, you know you failed, Larry, right? And I'm gonna have to tell your father. <laughs> I didn't have a father. It was brought out by mummy. Well, that will explain a lot. You know, humans have been tested even with people like beliefs of yours. And when they're hungry enough, they'll eat anything just to survive. Even a McDonald's. Why? Well, love to have a burger and fries right now. What, laddie? Can we go get one? You know, McDonald's a burger is a beef burger, you know? Yeah, I, I love burger and fries. I think they're great. Well, you're not only a girl's blouse, you're dumb as a plank as well. Thank you. <laughs>